okay the install succeeded and for some you're not going to see this screen and if that happens just reset your computer just wait for it there you go and if nothing happens uh, well don't worry you just need the I boot disk again because there's no bootloader that is already installed into the hard drive because again the bootloader is a very essential part of Mac OS X that is running on your PC just take out the Mac OS X install disk put in the iBoot disk just boot from it again and just select the this drive At this part, you're going to see the iBoot supported disk again, but this time the Mac disk that you made a while ago is going to be there. So highlight it and press enter. And you can see now that it's booting for the first time. And this is the first boot since it was installed, so it's going to take a while. So uh, I'm just going to pause the video, and when it goes back, I'll see you again. Okay, so it's booting up. Just wait for it. and you're going to hear this music so to fill up this this information in here before we begin using the operating system uh, do not in you'll notice that uh, you'll notice that we're not seeing the intro video because basically the my video card is not supported so I'm just going to fill in this information okay I finished in, uh, filling up the registra registration information click continue and select this information uh, I don't want to stay in touch continue and the account name for this computer for the password continue I don't want to register now because I don't have an internet yet. Continue. I'm in the Philippines. Continue. It's the correct date and time. And enjoy your Apple computer. Done. And we'll be greeted with the Mac OS 10 desktop. There you go. Okay, as you can see, this is the default Mac OS X desktop. But the problem is, 
we we always need the iBoot supported disk to start our operating system. So we eject the iBoot supported disk and when you I'm going to provi provide a link in the description where you can download all the stuff you need to begin installing Mac OS 10 in your computer so I'm just going to copy these files Again, these are the files that you need when installing macOS 10 into your computer.